Which that stands to reason, actually, because if they did go with me, then they'd pluck themselves out of the ground? That makes no sense. Oh boy. Is this the one? This cave introduces an enemy that is as bad. Okay, it's not here. This cave introduces an enemy that is as bad as the bull bear in terms of non-boss lethality. You game. <laughs> You're trying my patience. Uh, gonna proof the cave, I guess? Grab some whites. Now, the reason why I'm taking Pikmin with me is because I believe there are some traps that can only be set off by, uh, they, they can only be set off if I have Pikmin in my group. So if I go in and try to proof the cave with just a captain, nothing will happen. But when I take Pikmin in later, then stuff will start trying to kill me. Okay, now this is... This is one treasure. Well, thank you. Thank you, game. Thank you, game. I really appreciate that, actually. Uh, so yeah. Also, this is... So it's a variant of the decorated cannon beetle that we saw before. This is an armored cannon beetle larva. Now, the... The adult cannon beetle does not actually... I don't... You don't actually see it in this game. But... It is in Pikmin 1. Okay, make sure there are no traps here. Okay, this will be my safe area. It is in Pikmin 1. The cannon beetle is a spider-like enemy. Does not shoot homing boulders, but it's much more difficult. It's actually one of my favorite enemies, or favorite bosses in the series, because it looks so cool. Oh, boy. Whistle them off. That could have been dangerous. Okay, kill it before it has a chance to retaliate. Good. I almost lost all my purples there, but thankfully I played I played it safe here. I don't know why I have a yellow with me, but I do. Okay, you take care of that. I'll get the other larva. Hey, buddy. Yeah, I know. I know you have allergies. Uh, okay. I need to play very hit and run here. Uh, actually, no. I Normally, I would stand for that, but no, I'm not going to let you do that. Instead, I'm going to clear out the last armored cannon beetle larva. Oh! Come on, kill him! And that's fine. Yeah, they won't, they won't fly away. All right. The cave is officially proofed and cleared out. Maybe not of all the traps. Come on. Maybe not of all the traps, but it is proofed of everything else. So I'll throw a purple on that. A purple on this. Uh, actually, I'm going to swarm this because it'll take a while to dig out. There. And then make sure all the traps are gone, or the, the fire traps. Fire geezers, as they call them in Britain. And then let's get some white Pikmin. This is the reason why I didn't take a bunch of white Pikmin into this cave. There are candy pup buds on many of the floors. In fact, this is not even the primary floor that they appear on. Isn't there another one that I passed by? Isn't there? I thought I saw one. Maybe that's the only one, okay. Here, you carry that. Oh, no, you need one more. And you can help that, because that is going as slow as snot, snot mixed with molasses on the, the, the moon. I don't know. Man! And also that needs help too, as well. Well, we can get some of our new whites in on that. Also, one thing that I've always done, and I, I subconsciously did it here, is I always, for some reason, use red Pikmin to convert into other colors. Not blues, not yellows, always reds. And I don't understand why. Maybe it's because they were always the first... Wait a minute. Oh, I thought he was perched on the side of the cliff. Like, hey, I'm, I'm thinking about jumping. My life's been pretty bad. You know what? No, never mind. I've been kind of crossing the line with my jokes recently. Uh, something in this cave brings it out in me. Maybe it's the fact that it's spring and I'm feeling chipper. Super strong stabilizer. All right. Is that the last treasure? Unless there's something buried. I think it is. All right. Let's swarm the remain remainder of our Pikmin on it. Uh, I do want to use that nectar once everyone's back. Because, I, like I said, I do have whites that I need to take care of. Eh, we can go and grab this enemy. 
and put some Pikmin on this as well. And then I can flower them up and go into the cave. Coiled Launcher. An apt name. Alright, you guys take this back, and once again, I'll flower my Pikmin, and I'll meet you guys at the cave exit. Or when we get this treasure, I guess. Omega Flywheel. I'll go even further beyond delving like you wouldn't believe, and hope I think this will be the cave that we've waited for. This will be the day that we've opened up the door. And it will uh, bring us some absolution, but through a revolution, we should be able to kill it. Yeah, they gave us a geyser. Either this is a rest floor, or this has the enemy I was thinking of. Which is it? This is the rest floor. All right. Now, I believe this cave is long enough that it actually has two rest floors. Uh, we converted reds. Let's convert some yellows. It has two rest floors, one of which contains ivory candy pot buds, and the other one contains violet candy pot buds. And like I said, this is the best cave in the game for farming up uh, non-big three numbers. I honestly don't know what to call those, but non-big three works, I guess. All right, let's go pluck some some whites. Ah, uh, purples. Get in here. I literally just called in some it called in the bouncers to go kill everything. What are you? Where is he? What was that? You ran. Get over here. Get over here. Think you can run away? Do you think you can desert the group? Well, I say no. Not while I have <laughs> these bouncer Pikmin. That's what I'm gonna call them from now on. They're bouncers. Louie, I need you. Okay, let's go pluck an obscene number of Pikmin. And they will each get their own pool of nectar. Because they're that special to me. What? <clears throat> Actually, you know what? No. Look at- look, he's quivering! He's quivering in fear. Get over here, come on. Come on. There you go. Good job, buddy. I've been y too angry with Pikmin. That's why they're abandoning me. abandoning me. I've been yelling at them constantly, but they're so cute. I mean, besides having those Mr. Popo eyes, they are very cute. They have little minds of their own, don't you? Yeah, you do. Okay. And they sing, which is adorable. Pikmin are really adorable, which always makes me sad and reluctant to watch another Pikmin Let's Play because they don't, I, I don't want to say they don't treat Pikmin with respect, but they really don't. They lose a Pikmin and they laugh at its death. They laugh as it screams or flies down a cliff. And so usually I don't watch other Pikmin Let's Players because they really don't take the game seriously. Which, as I said, I said this a long time ago, maybe second episode Skyward Sword? Third? I don't know. So around then, I said, if you take the game as seriously as the designers intended for it to be, then you will have a much better experience. You'll, tr you'll enjoy games much more. And you may be able to walk away with them, walk away from them with something. And that's true. That's very true. Also, this is, this is such a unique sub-level. Whites. I guess I'll take a yellow. Okay. I take whites because they're fast. There's a bomb rock. Already, it was worth it for me to proof this cave. There's a volatile dweevil. Worth it. There's another one. Worth it for me to proof this cave. Now, actually, there's one thing I want to point out about vol volatiles. Uh, they are a bit special in the Japanese version. This is one of the original differences of the game. Come on. Cute little guy. Uh, the, if you freeze them with bitter, uh, ultra bitter spray, man, there's so many bomb rocks. What is this? If you, uh, use the ultra bitter spray on a volatile dweevil in the Japanese version of the game, it will actually, uh, it'll freeze the game. So you're basically, <laughs> you're basically using the ultra bitter spray on the game and it freezes the game. Okay, make sure this is fine. Good. I feel safe enough to carry these back. Once they pass, I will 
punch these ro these bomb rocks here. Uh, push them together. There. Punch these. Punch these. I love the sound that they make. It's really satisfying. Okay, uh, I think they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. Also, the only enemies we've seen thus far have been... Volatiles. Nothing else. Just volatiles and a ton of bomb rock traps. Hey, buddy. Can I still punch him? I can't! Ooh. Doesn't appear to do any damage, though. Okay. Looks like my work is done here. Punch this bomb rock, and I should be fine. Oh, whoa. Looks like they set off another trap on the way. Either that, or I off-screened a bomb, and it just didn't explode until I looked at it again. Alright, looks like we have uh, an actual value- actually valuable treasure, again. This is a dial, and as someone who used to collect pocket watches, and stack, in fact, I still have my collection, this is- I can't- this doesn't look like a pocket watch dial. It's also metal, which is not indicative of pocket watches. Usually those are made of enamel, or some resin. Also, this is- there, that has to be- you know what, it's not- it, it, we're gonna test. Is it a trap? One. Okay, we're gonna whistle him down and see what happens. That's, oh, okay. I always get worried whenever the game freezes like that, but it was fine. Okay, run down here. This is normally a way to circumvent any traps that I may see, and it's not entirely necessary, but also with all the traps, I don't trust it. I really don't. All right, what's in here? Oh, okay. Oh boy. Oh. You barely avoided death. He tripped and fell on his face. And that was another example of a trap that has to be proofed while well, Pikmin are in the group. I love how I keep using the word proof because even though it's not an actual real term for something in Pikmin, but I'm using it as one. Because I had to have... There's another one. Run, 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 run. Ah. Probably would have been better to run the other way, but I was uncertain about if there was a trap in here. Does not appear to be. Okay. Now, sometimes traps can be triggered then. Right then. Come on, come on, come on. Run, 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 run. This, this is just a cave of traps. This is the sub-level. That's all there is in this sub-level. Traps, traps, and more traps. <sighs> you, you see why I proof these. I mean, in fact, pa future pal, when I went through this cave, please put a counter on every single trap so you can see how many are in here. It's required at this point. You have to put, you have to proof caves, because they are devious. But as I was saying, sometimes the the traps can trigger when a treasure is dug up from the ground, which means that proofing it on first glance doesn't. Did I hear? Okay, I thought I heard a dweevil, but uh, no, it's fine. So, there's so many traps, and you can see why I walk- I do a run-through of a cave. Okay, name. Adamantine Girdle. I have no clue what adamantine is? I think it's a- I think it's a metal, if my terraria knowledge is any indication. I'm pretty sure that's a metal. Subterranean Complex, sub-level 6? Is this the one that they introduced the enemy? I think it is. It certainly is, right? The one that I fear as much as bull bears? I don't hear it. That, that's a funny do evil. Oh, they're all. They have the treasures, and it's hilarious. Okay, this is not the one. It has a signature sound to it. So if you're playing along with me, first of all, are you playing along with me? That's cool. That's, I like that. Okay, make sure there are no things here. Okay. Dismissed. Uh, what was I saying? It has a signature noise to it. It's kind of a... A... a what, do you, what do you call a sound that a chicken makes? Uh, chuckle? Not a cock doodle do It's not, it's not that. Oh! Uh, get over here. That, that poor Pikmin almost met his fate. Okay, you guys... Kill this guy. Neat. And then kill this guy. I almost lost a purple there by him bouncing off the ledge. No! Oh. oh, man. Okay, throw them next to him and then swarm him. 
much better strategy. I almost lost a many different purples there. I need to proof this. Okay, it's fine. All right, let's dismiss everyone but the whites. Now, what I could do, I I could cut out proofing. Oh, I need to kill him. I could cut out proofing, honestly, because otherwise it kind of spoils the cave. If it takes too long, then I'll cut it out. But a lot of the time, I need, I probably need to show it. Okay, good. The reason why I wasn't careful with that enemy is because with the the um, the anode beetles, Pikmin that hit them bounce, but with the the Dweevils, they don't. Hey, buddy. <laughs> I love how all of the treasures in this floor are just waddling around and wiggling. Makes this cave a little bit unique. I need to remember I'm not immune to electricity. Not yet. That comes later. Spoilers. I need to be careful here, though. This cave is quite dangerous. Okay, take this out. Alright, that's dead. I'll take care of this. This is a red. Okay, I'll go grab some, some red Pikmin. Now that I know there are no traps, I can dismiss the entirety of the group in the main spawn area. Grab some reds and go take care of that, that little dweevil there. Hey, buddy. Yeah, right. There. Okay. I don't want to throw them, because that is... And when I throw them, I want the cursor to be right above. Am I immune to fire? Yeah, I am. I forget. I, I forgot there, but no, I'm immune to fire. Wait, what? Why did he drop it? That's... Did he get blown up? I think he got blown up. Little... Inter-marital? No, not marital. Inter-species dispute there. Ugh. Need to be careful with this area. This area is... This kind of biome, the... The, the one with cliffs like this. It's probably the most dangerous because sometimes it's not modeled correctly. And Pikmin can just be pushed over the side, or I guess it's not a model error, it just, it's an error of the, the height of the, the girders, and with the Pikmin AI, repair Juggernaut, and they can be pushed over the edge, okay, what's my plan of attack here, the Anno Beetles are not a concern, but also, neither is, yeah, neither is the, is the Dweevil, because he won't hurt me if I don't hurt him. He's pretty chill about these things, so what I can do... Actually, I'll take a squad of whites. I need to be very tactical with this. Once again, this is showing that I learned my lesson from previous days. I'm, I'm actually being careful here instead of just rushing in. There's some character development for this, this Let's Player. Alright, now go back. Grab Olimar. And we're going to take out this Dirigi Bug. Uh, that's my chance. And the bomb rock fell. It's not a threat to Pikmin, so that means I can kill. Not quite. Not quite. <laughs> that that guy just threw away his bomb rock. Throw it. And it slid off. We can kill him the rest of the way. Nice. And once again, not a threat to Pikmin, though it's it's kind of a close call. Alright, so as long as I don't get hurt, I should be fine. These, anno be these anode beetles, what on earth? Was that a trap that was a treasure? What? That's an- ow, that's a new one. I did not mean to get hit there. Oh boy, whistle them, whistle them, run. Whistle them, run. Ooh. Okay, now knock them down again. Be careful of the anode beetles, for Olimar's sake, not mine. And threats neutralized. Okay, now I can just take care of the Anno Beetles. And honestly, I don't even have to take care of all of them, just two. Because they won't create a spark if there is only one. So I'll, I'll grab grab this one. Poor guys, they're just trying to communicate. The eHarmony bugs, they're just trying to communicate with each other. And it, it hurts us. I mean, otherwise, we wouldn't care about them. We really wouldn't. Where's the Dweevil? Oh, that's what happened to the Dweevil. Oh, it wasn't a it wasn't a treasure trap. The Dweevil walked off the the ledge, the stage, and the game respawned the treasure for us. That is funny. That's that's a new one. 
Okay, I can take care of this. Whistle them. Yeah. Like I said, the hazards aren't that... Aren't that bad. Okay. Don't. Okay, that's my cue. Don't fall off. <sighs> Need to be ever so careful. These these edges are so dangerous. This might be it. It is. Neat. Okay. Finally. That took a long time, but also I didn't... I, it should be noted. It took a long time, but I did not lose any Pikmin at all. And that is, once again, character development for the pal... Palaroo. The Palaroo is seeing some character development. Alright, once again, Anno Duivel is not harmful at all. In fact, they can... These Pikmin can have fun just hitting it, although I need some whites. Okay, you guys can do this. And that. And that. I have a lot of white Pikmin. How many do I have? Oh, I have a lot. Okay. The first one is an oven? An oven dial? Space wave receiver. Almost done with the debt now. The second one is... These are all electronic, electronically based. The Far Eastern Electric, made in Japan. So I guess this is, it's a, a TV, like a, not a cable or a satellite, like a, t a TV company, I don't know. All right, let's go in. The next sub-level. Maybe this one will have the enemy that I've been dreading. I was wondering, it really, I, this, this keeps me up at night. I was wondering how the great fairy could co possibly look more terrifying than the Ocarina of Time variant. Get down. Uh, no! Run! Run! I lost a purple. That's the first purple I've lost. Uh, 